InDesign is a very structured environment. It has to be to be able to keep up with all of the text and all of the images. Here's what I mean by a structure. Let's say I have a paragraph and I wanted to start a new paragraph from here. Well, it's as simple as hitting the return key on my keyboard. As soon as I do that, InDesign knows to break it here and to start a new paragraph with indention here. If I wanted to tab over, I can hit the tab key and it knows to place a certain amount of space between there. But how does it know to do this? How does it know the difference between a tab and a variety of just different spaces that I place in here? Well, it does this by placing individual characters that are not printed and they're not even seen on my screen. These are called hidden characters and you can actually see them. Go up to the type drop down menu and go down to the very bottom to show hidden characters. This will give you a variety of blue symbols that you normally don't see. The most common one is the little piece symbol that appears at the end of a paragraph. This is called a pilcrow. This is the paragraph return symbol. Notice that in between each of the little uh, words is a dot. This is your space symbol. All of these are different hidden symbols that give the ability to format your text. So when I hit the return key here, it placed the pilcrow. When I hit the tab key, you can see the hat, we got these little double lines. And when I placed several spaces, I get several different dots. Turning on your hidden characters is a great way to reformat your text, especially if you're working with someone who, need, who doesn't know how to clean up or to set tabs or to uh, format their text properly. Additionally, if you're placing special characters such as page breaks or paragraph breaks, this gives you the ability to find and edit those paragraph breaks. To turn off your uh, hidden characters, simply go back up to Type, back down to the bottom, and choose hide hidden characters to go back into normal mode.